What's up everybody, it's the Hungry Fisherman. We're gonna be cleaning and cooking our fish that we caught the other day, like the Nanui, and we got our ohole ohole over there. Um, simple, easy recipes. I don't do extravagant stuff because that just takes way too much time and it takes away the flavor of the fish. Anyways, I'm gonna start with the Nanui. We're gonna just start scaling everything first. And then we're gonna gut everything and clean them out after. Ooh, tough skills. Super sharp, super, super sharp. All right, so now we're gonna clean our fish. We go from the butt up to here. Make a small incision. Just watch your fingers, watch your hands. Try not to go too deep to where you hit the gut sack. Right there. One finger in. I like to hold it all the way up until you can't go no more. Curl your finger around, come down and out. Female, that's eggs. Right there, that's eggs. Do it again, make sure you got everything. There you go. That's it, rinse it out. That's one of the reasons why this guy is such a good fighter is they're very strong. Plus, if you look at their tail, extremely wide and you got a real thick base over here so when they push when they swim it's they're very very fast they're very strong they're grazers if you look at their mouth really no teeth but it's what they use for grazing so these guys have go ahead Spines on the top. And because they're grazers, they're eating limu and stuff like that. They have a lot of intestines. A lot. And if you hit the poop bag, it really stinks. 
And as you can see, it's already getting pushed out here. So, you ready? No. Oh. You hit the poop bag. I hit the poop bag. Does it really stink? Yeah, it smells like fish. Please don't squirt that. Oh, you ain't kidding. Look at that. I wonder why they're always pooping on you when you catch them. <laughs> but look, look at the cavity. Empty. Empty. And then we do a rinse. Bust the air bladder. And that's it. So we're just gonna put some salt. Pepper. I kinda need a lot of oil for this one. You're basically deep frying them, so you need to kinda you need a deep pan and kind of a lot of oil. That should be good. Now we just wait for the oil to heat up and we'll get back to you. Now we're just putting a coat of cornstarch on there so it makes the the Skin nice and crispy. When we fry it, that's why I put the salt and pepper first, so it's already on there. And this one, if you crisp it up, you can eat the tails. In we go. And like with every fish, you don't wanna flip them too many times. You wanna let them cook one side and then the other side. But since these are smaller fish, they actually don't take that long to cook. So these guys should be about done. Check them out. Oh yeah, look at that nice gold brown. Set. Put them on through. Put the towels, drain out the oil. Okay, I'm gonna throw in some ginger, some garlic. Just to add a little bit extra flavor on the last one. All the goodness from the other fish in there too. 
and the big one right here. Some salt and pepper all over the fish. Just gonna flavor the oil. The garlic and uh, ginger. Not the ginger, this ginger. Or nenui. I know a lot of people make pokey out of it or they bake it and stuff or they grill it. We're gonna fry it. Too big for the pan. Why are you getting into much trouble? There we go. Alright guys, so this is the end product. You got your ohole hole with cornstarch, salt and pepper, and you got your nanui fry with just salt and pepper, and they both got some lime on there just for looks and flavor. Um, and I got a nice little sauce that was made for me over here. So I'm gonna try the nanui first. Nice white meat. good it's a very clean flavor um, you would think that there'd be a lot of seaweed flavor in there but there isn't it's actually a pretty fresh flavor and uh, it goes well with the sauce okay. next is a hole hole This has more of a, uh, uh, how would you say, almost like, it, because it's more of a predator, because the other one's a gra grazer, 
This is more of a predator, so it has slightly more gamier taste, but it's not overpowering. And again, the, the, the sauce just goes really, really well with it. It accompanies it really, really well. So you can't beat the, the freshness of the fish. Both of them taste really, really good. Um, in fact, when I catch another Ninui, I'll try to make a poke out of it. Uh, if we do a hole hole, we might do something different. We might uh, steam it or uh, grill it. That might be good. Like I said, these are great. You can get hot rice, some kimchi on the side, and just this, you can't go wrong. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to visit us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. Okay? And as always, guys, stay hungry.